What's good, y'all? It's your boy Danny Myers, and you are tuned in to the Polls Don't Lie with my homie Kato's on T7M Radio, Battle Rap's premier radio network. Well, the funny thing, it's funny you say you saying this right now, because I was talking to uh, one of my boys, and we were saying how, man, if Tink was to ever battle Suge, that would be one dude that Suge won't be able to, quote unquote, bully. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go like that. Like, it'd be a different See, type of, of matchup. I'm going to be as honest as I can with y'all, and I never even really discuss my, you know, how I feel about that matchup once it do happen with anybody, you feel what I'm saying? And I've been on plenty of radio stations, so this is an exclusive. And it's like, you know, me and Suge probably couldn't even go down without signing a contract about you no know, putting no hands on nobody because it will be a fight on that stage, you feel what I'm saying? Without a doubt, it will, it will, it will hurt the culture more than it will help it, you feel what I'm saying? This is about two bullies that can get in each other's face and, and, and see who you know who's the most creative all that night. Now, when it come to putting your hands on me, you feel what I'm saying, or touching anything that that's that's hanging on my person, you liable, you liable that you asking for what's coming next. You feel what I'm saying? You right. almost asking for that. I don't care what your signature is, and I don't care how the fans, you know, uh, uh, look to that. Like, okay, everybody know he do that every time. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Nah, I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, got, I don't give a fuck about that to keep it 100. You feel what I'm saying? My thing is, if you play with me if you want to. You feel what I'm saying? And that's how I feel about that. Straight up. You play with me. Everything is at your own risk. You feel what I'm saying? You that nigga. You feel what I'm saying? You you you, you rep what you rep. You about that life. Try me. You feel what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with it. I fuck with you in the streets as a person. I fuck with you. Outside the venue, you, you know... In the back of the venue, after you perform, we might blow a blunt and all that. But try me on stage where it lasts forever on that YouTube, and you got to get what's right. coming to you. It's just, a, it's just a grown man thing. It's a grown man. There's certain things that I can't allow happen to me. I got, I got a son. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck I'm going to tell my yeah. son a nigga probably check me on stage, and I ain't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit goes a long way. It goes a long way. Anybody who's ever had any type of foot in the street life understands that. Straight up, you're going to have to rap. Ain't going to be no no cheating of a shock value by touching my pocket. You're going to have to rap. We're going to have to give the fans what they want. you going to have to rap. You feel what I'm saying? And they willing to pay hoping you tap my pockets. Just like I'm willing to pay after you tap my pockets. You feel what I'm saying? I'm willing to pay whatever right. the cost is after you tap my pockets. Whether it's me banned Look. from URL or whatever the situation may be, I'm willing to pay that. And as a man, I'm going to walk away with my head up knowing that, you feel I'm in a position to keep my career going in the right direction after that. You feel what I'm saying? So, right. like like I said, that battle alone will probably have to come with a contract. What, what strengths do you think he has as far as just bars? What do you think Suge's strengths are? Suge's strengths is he, he, he builds momentum. You feel what I'm saying? He builds momentum mm. and he tends to say things every now and then. And what I mean say things, not nothing complex. You feel what I'm saying? He say things that tend he know how to sell it. And that's what a lot of battle rappers don't understand is you feel what I'm saying, they will hate on a person like me who I consider I have the it factor. A Briz Rothstein has the it factor. These top tiers they have it factors. So you, people right. know, you know, who has an impact and who don't. But I feel like, you know, what differentiates us is that we know how to sell our material. You feel what I'm saying? People mm. can write the hottest shit in the world down on paper, but if it don't come across, if they're not projecting it right, they're going to continue to say shit like, wake up. Y'all catch it on camera, wake up, and shit like that. It's like, nah, I know that if I'm getting paid to, to perform, at the level I gotta perform at, I don't give a fuck if it's the word, the words, I walk in the room. I'ma sell the words. I walk in the room and, you feel what I'm I'ma sell every last piece of my material and project it the way it needs to be projected. That's what gives you the it factor. A lot of people still gotta find mm -hmm. themselves within that. And by the time they find themselves, they are gonna miss out on them PG positions because it's gonna take for them PGs that, them to get a PG and realize that that's what they was missing before they can capitalize off of it. You feel what I'm saying? It's a cutthroat game yeah. right there. I definitely want sure. Is, is, is out of all three, Suge is the one that I really want for the culture. I feel like the culture needs that. Personally, I don't really, I, I, I can care less. I know he's not better than me. You 
You know what I'm saying? So, and I know I'm gonna be everything he was meant to be. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's something I want to do for the coach again, bro. Thank you very much for coming on, man. Two seven and radio, appreciate it, man. Anything you want to give the people before we get up out of here? Um, anytime, man. Like I said, Hunger Games, man. Look out for the, the new addition to the Hunger Games, man. Cash only, Trey O. Deuce, Stewie P. Newton from from the West Coast, Washington. Battle rap, right? you know West Battle Rap. Salute to Dre Vicious from Crack City. You know that the new additions, the original members, me, not nothing. He, he performed like a motherfucker, born legacy too. I feel like he walked away with a clear that, yeah. two one possible three zero. Oh. Um, you know, automatic. You know, just just it's about building a brand this year, man, and giving the, the fans, you know, their money worth this year. Cause battle rap started to get expensive. Y'all heard him, man. Tink the Demon has some has some choice words for my man Shotgun Shug. Has some. He's definitely ready for anybody to step in that ring. And, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. He sounds very focused, y'all. So, I don't know what to tell y'all. Shotgun Shug, Big T, Slave Sever. Hell, man. He, he, he has some names out there, man. So, we gonna see, man. But, you know, it's your boy k Doze, T7 and Radio, the Pose Online. I'm about to sign off of here. Hey, man. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. We will be right back on Thursday. I will let y'all know who the guest is via Facebook and Twitter. So follow me on Twitter at K underscore D-O-Z. That's K underscore D-O-Z. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, k Those Media. I got a lot of content coming this week for y'all. Shout out to my man, Seven Mitchell. Shout out to the War Report. they actually coming on right after me. So y'all get ready for that. Again, shout out to Postal.com this it's powered by Postal.com. I have a brand new poll that will be dropping tomorrow. So I really want y'all to check that out. And if you're on Facebook, you can uh, request me at um, Kato's King Akeem on Facebook as well. You can go ahead and uh, I'm on K, K underscore DOZ on every social media outlet. So holler at your boy. You already know what it is. It's your boy Kato's. We out.